so you clicked on a video about kick scooters for adults. I don't need to mention how unconventional that is. With the rise of electric scooters in many towns and cities around the world, kick scooters are still left behind. But they shouldn't be. They provide a fun and healthy alternative for commuters all over the globe. The first advantage of kick scooters is that they're extremely good for your health. They can help you boost your overall strength, balance and endurance. What's more, just 30 minutes of scooting can burn up to 150 calories. Second advantage is that kick scooters are convenient, as they can cut your commute time by half in comparison to walking. If you only use a kick scooter for a part of your journey, you can easily fold it and take it with you. The third advantage is that they are cost efficient. They don't require a lot of investment nor maintenance costs. There are of course a few disadvantages of using kick scooters. And the first one is that you can easily fall and hit your head or get injured in a different way. A second disadvantage is that your dignity can suffer. As an adult on a kick scooter, you can easily feel awkward or out of place scooting in front of other people. And now onto the buying process. I decided to buy iGlide commuter scooter. It was one of the cheapest options, costing only 75 Australian dollars. The package arrived five days after I ordered it. The process of assembling the kick scooter was straightforward, easy, and took about five minutes before the scooter was fully ready to be used. There are a few factors one should consider when buying a commuter scooter. The most important being the size of the wheels. For a comfortable ride, they should be at least 200 millimeters in diameter. What's more, the bigger the wheels, the less likely you are to be bothered by small bumps in the road or trip over the uneven terrain. Another important factor are the brakes. Most kick scooters have either hand or wheel brakes, so you should choose whatever type suits you best. A glide scooter shown in this video has both types, which I find to be the most convenient. Yet another thing to consider before purchasing a commuter scooter is whether you need it to be foldable. Personally, I travel a lot, so having an option to easily fold the scooter in half and pack it away is quite important. This feature also allows for easier transport in case you only use a scooter for part of your trip and then commute by bus or train. It is also easier to store it in the apartment when it is fully folded. One of the things I didn't consider while buying my scooter was a kickstand. I strongly recommend that you get one when you buy a kick scooter. I will certainly get one soon so I don't need to put it on the ground or look for a place it can lean on every time I use it.